Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and talk about what I have blooming um, in my garden already. Um, of course, it's just a few days into spring here in Kansas, um, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I have and what you potentially have in your own backyard. All right. What you see here is um, my herb and tea bed. I have things that come back every year. Uh, like this is my mint. It's starting to sprout. I'm really excited. Um, this will be the second year for my mint. Um, last year I didn't really grow too much, so I didn't get to really harvest any. Um, but I think this year it will be even better. Um, but what I want to talk today about is purple dead nettle. This is something that you can forage in your own yard. Um, it's pretty normal to find in North America. Um, how you can recognize purple dead metal is by the coning down shapeward leaves, the purple flowers, and the square stems, which is because it belongs to the mint family. Of course, it doesn't really taste like mint, so there's that. Um, purple dead nettle has a lot of good um, properties to it. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's an antibacterial. It's an antifungal. Um, it can be used for um, pestos, soups, <laughs> salads. Um, it's a superfood. Um, of course, it's edible completely. Um, and the flowers eat all the way to the roots. And of course, it's got lots of medical properties. Um, it can support your immune functions and it has vitamins C, A, K, and it has also iron and fiber. It's a diaphoretic, um, it's a diuretic, astringent, and curative. Um, it can also be dried for teas, tinctures. Um, this is actually, um, could be referred to as stinging metal or Purple Archangel. It's an annual and it's a herbaceous flowering plant. So just some info and of course like I said you can forage this in your yard. I actually have some growing over here beside the other bed. Don't mind the mess. I'm doing some gardening work getting ready for my season. Um, but as you can see there's actually just some grant like growing random beside it. I also want to show you guys the difference between dead nettle and henbit. This is henbit. It has round shaped leaves instead of these cone downward shaped leaves. Um, but henbit is also edible. Um, it's also part of the mint family. It still has a square stem. But the leaves are definitely different and identifiable.